Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Seso here. Bring you guys another video today. Brings a little top three digital portfolio sites for you guys to be using. So basically today's video is gonna be helping you guys choose which of like uh, my favorite three portfolio sites to be using. And then like kind of like choose between those and just like really build your portfolio. So of course, if you don't have your own portfolio and you are a designer, then you're missing out of one of the most crucial things of being a designer is having your own portfolio and having some place to show all this really dope work you've been creating, right? To get more clients, to get more interaction with, you know, uh, other people and stuff like that. So definitely one of the most main things. So that's kind of what these videos are gonna be all about. Um, so I kind of I just want to like start doing like more branding videos to help you like, you know build your brand because there's a lot more than just like creating a really nice design uh, because if you create nice designs like what else comes next like you want to learn how to show it off you want to learn how to build your own brand get clients all that kind of stuff so that's what these videos are gonna be all, like all about so of course they're not gonna like replace my main videos I always have a video on uh, Tuesday and I always have a video on Friday so if I ever do post something like this it'll be on an off day like something like today Thursday so hope you guys enjoy if you want to join more content if you want to like see more of this kind of stuff please leave a like and if you guys want to see uh, something specific to help you guys out, maybe like whatever it like whatever it may be, just comment it down below. Give me more ideas, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So that's what you're out. Peace. All right, guys. So when it comes to actually building your own portfolio, there's nothing quite like having your own portfolio on your own site. So as you guys know, I have sysvhu.com, and all that was actually done by Wix.com. So I've been using Wix for about like two two years, like yeah, almost two and a half years, but like a year and a half, two years, and they've been nothing but freaking like sick and dope, and it's really fun. So overall, they have like a really dope customization where you can actually do HTML coding, you can do uh, you know, like I guess paint. Uh, excuse me, not paint, copy and paste like images and then direct those images somewhere, you know, things like that. And then they have like something really cool is like the AI. Uh, they call it like, their AI builder, which is basically like uh, you kind of just like pick and select which kind of like themes you like, simplistic, heavy, style, like whatever. And then it kind of just like, you know, caters to all the stuff you picked and then just makes your site all in one really freaking dope and fast. Like if there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing quite like having your own site because you can put anything on your site, right? So if you like you have like a, uh, you know, stock store like I do, like selfie.com, I would definitely go ahead and like put that on my site. If I had something like, uh, if I want to put like a price list, like a quote list, like an about me section, there's nothing like quite having your portfolio on your site as well. Because like I said, as soon as people's like finish your portfolio, they can be like, hey, I want to purchase something and they can just go right to the other tab so 100 i would have to recommend building your own site as like a number one kind of priority when it comes to something however there's one thing about having your own site it's you have to build traffic there so you have to have some kind of social media following to actually give yourself some traffic towards your site otherwise the next two examples i'm going to be using for you guys for portfolios is definitely one of the better uh choices for you guys possibly because it has like a browse feature and it has something that you know can direct people towards your site and it kind of like you don't have to really do anything about it, right? So it's freaking dope. So if I had to recommend anywhere to go, it would happily be Wix.com for building your own freaking dope free site. And like I said, you can build your own domain as well or buy your own domain as well. I think I pay for mine like every year and it's freaking sick. So like I said, there's nothing better than having your own site. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that when I move on to the next two, just because like if you're thinking of top three portfolio sites, what's like what's better than having your own, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, next up on the list, and I guess you really cannot talk about portfolios until you talk about Behance. It's one of the most consistent and most popular digital portfolio sites out right now, for sure. And also the community itself has a really, really wide span of like any variety of design that you guys do. Honestly, when it comes to like logo designing, illustrations, painting, fashion, even like the itty bitty little specifics that I even know about, there's definitely a strong and very thriving community on Behance, for sure. And when it actually comes to navigating through the UI itself and the viewing options you guys have, it's actually pretty freaking cool. You can actually navigate through different design schools and different like galleries or even like, like I said, there's a whole bunch of specific freaking designs that I actually, design types I had like no clue about. Like I find it sad that I did not know about so many specifics, but you can actually find inspiration for like anything on that site. And there's also like a freaking tab for most recent work, which I find really, really cool and really, really dope for people who do not have like a really huge following. So most likely you ever find yourself actually publishing something on behalf there might be an actual possibility that you might be under the most recent work tab which I find like I said really cool for people who do not have like a super big following and you know, like crazy stuff like that so definitely one of the most coolest things in there because you can also support new designers and like who knows maybe it might be yourself and might you might just go from most recent work to the freaking featured of the week so honestly that's pretty freaking awesome 
All right, so when it actually comes to building your own portfolio and starting on your first Behance project, or maybe you already have a Behance portfolio itself, but you're not having this like really cool success rate that you're looking for or, or whatever like that. So there's one thing you should keep in mind when it comes to Behance community, and it's definitely showing progression or presenting your work. And like overall, you should always show like some some kind of like presentation to your work, right? Because it gives your work some kind of value. It gives your work a a level of appreciation that you're looking for. So if you're showing present, uh, you know, a progression level, maybe like, uh, you know, I'm using a logo design for example. So like sketches, anything like that, and like showing the actual logo in progress, and then showing the end result. There's a level of pre appreciation for the viewer where they can see the time and effort or the inspiration or or the struggles or, or the variations and it really helps the actual viewer understand the project more and it, it's one of those things it's more than just looking at it and saying oh I like this you can look at it and then go you know oh I like this step or oh I might have to try this or you know something like that and that is what like the Behance community and overall what you should be focusing on when it comes to you know showing your work off you want to have that like that value level right so when it comes to actually presenting your work and actually maybe you don't have maybe you don't have to actually have to uh presentate it really really difficult either right you don't have to do this complex uh you know really hard you know presentation you can just do something really simple and like i would usually do like a 131 concept i just call it like 131 because why not and really what i do is like i really like a little designs right so i might start off with a sketch then i might start off with variations and then i might end off with like a mock-up so uh, if I don't have like a sketch, maybe I can just start off with the final image itself. And like, maybe you want to do the final image, and then like, it's really cool to actually put together uh, the hex codes or the colors that you may, might use up in your project, or like the main primary colors, so that people can actually really connect to the work even more. So what I mean by that is like, maybe you can make a new layer, right? Choose like any shape whatsoever. You can. I just like to use the rectangle marquee tool, and they can just fill that rectangle marquee tool in with the color, and then right above that copy the actual hex code and like the actual color options and then throw it above that one shape and that way it's also a way of like kind of like it's like a clean concept of, of like also presenting the logo itself so it kind of gives more just like like i said connection to the actual work and then you might start off with a variation so uh for like i said for logo designing maybe i might have color in one to the left maybe i might have no color in the middle and then maybe i would have even more color to the, like the far right so if you can't pick which one's the final image maybe you should make a variation like you know a variation strip right and then right after that, you can then make a, uh, or excuse me, use a mock-up. So if you guys know how to use mock-ups, it's actually very, very, very easy. All you have to do is like either download the mock-up, uh, you can get like a lot of them from Google, and then basically on the actual mock-up, it should say like, you know, uh, place design here, and then right to the left of that should be the thumbnail, and then you just have to double click on the thumbnail, which is gonna be a smart object. It will open up, right, a new uh, loop tab inside of Photoshop, and then in that new tab, you can drag your new design inside that new tab, and then just get rid of like, like hide everything else, right? And then when you close the tab, all you have to do is press save and then magically poof, like your freaking logo or whatever your project, your poster is actually in that uh, mock-up. So it's actually really cool and really simple. And like I said, you can even have like more than one mock-up and it's just really, really giving your work a appreciation level and really giving your work value and making your work see or be seen in different spots. So you might want to like do a logo or do a project or an advertising design. And then you might just use like a couple billboard, uh, you know, mockups. That way you can like be like, hey, my work can actually be in a billboard. So it's it's really cool. And it's like I said, it's a value level to your work. And I really, really do. Uh, I I appreciate people who do that. And I really do think that you might appreciate yourself a lot more, or maybe like your design might look a lot better when you see it in the real world or something like that, right? So if there's one thing I would keep in mind is definitely presentation. And progression so for sure I would go about that if you're looking to make yourself a nice uh, beautiful portfolio and like you like I said you can do this for all different types of portfolios but definitely Behance is one of the main focuses for one of those and after all that you can see that I have a really really nice clean presentation to my Behance project it looks really nice and it wasn't super hard to do I just like I said followed the 131 concept and it just really really ups the value of the actual design itself so Highly recommend you guys to actually use the actual technique that I use and highly recommend Behance.net. All right, guys, so my last suggestion for today is actually going to be PortfolioBox.net. Now, if you don't know about this site, it's actually one of the new and up and coming. It's actually trending lately, and it's one of the alternatives to CarbonMade. So if you're a fan of CarbonMade or you know about CarbonMade, 
I think Portfolio Box is the better alternative. So I've been seeing a lot of Portfolio Box links to my top threes, a lot to my uh, live uh, portfolio reviews, and there's just something really sophisticated and like just freaking sexy about how you can compose your work or all of your work into just one screen, right? So that's kind of like the theme of like Carbon Made. You have like this really simple scroll down of like, you know, all the works or uh, for me, I would say suggesting uh, for people who do headers or Twitter, uh, Twitter headers, you know, social media designs and like asset designs to use something like this because you can just see all of your work at once and it looks so freaking good the way you can actually compose your actual site-like portfolio. So the actual layout itself is very easy you just upload images you can change the spacing you can change the way you actually you know have the rows are set up or your name is the fonts you can change a lot of things and there's just something so beautiful about it now i also think personally i think my quality looks a lot better on uh, portfolio box than on carbon made i don't know if it's just me but i honestly do see that a lot and i see a lot of people have been switching lately and i think it's honestly something to actually point out and at least give you guys knowledge of and like it's kind of like that wild card where it's also really freaking nice and i don't know if i said it already but they have like a students tab where you can actually i guess if you're a college student i don't know if you're a high school student but like if you have uh if you're a student overall you can actually get it, all the sites pro features for free I thought that was pretty sick. It's just really cool to have. Like, maybe it's just like you get unlocked new features and stuff. I haven't explored it incredibly lately, but I've also, like I said, I've made my little portfolio on it and it looks pretty freaking dope. I really do highly suggest it to you guys. And if you're looking for a new alternative to Carbon Made, Portfolio Box is definitely going to be the one. All right, guys, now I want to help you out just a little bit. There's definitely a, a, a little key to success when it comes to having a portfolio site like this, like Portfolio Box or like something like Carbon Made. And it's cleaning up your uh, templates. And there's just something that just kind of tilts me a little bit. I see a lot of people do it. And maybe it's not something that kind of clicks in your head. But keep it clean, okay? Keep your portfolio clean. And make sure you guys get rid of any kind of borders or tr uh, template kind of tracers that there are. That so that you just can upload the only, just like only the actual banner design or header design or advertisement design itself. Now, literally all you have to do is just use the crop tool and make sure you just crop out everything and then it just looks a lot better overall. And then once you guys got that going, that's how you get that really nice seamless transition in your actual portfolio box or when your actual uh, site, that just makes it look a 10 times better, okay? So make sure you guys do that and just, yeah, just, I'm trying to help you guys out a little bit. Alright guys, that's it for the video here today. So top three digital portfolio sites for you guys to be using, of course, excluding one of them because your best one has to be your own site. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I just really, I'm just trying to like kind of push all these new ideas that I have going on for like 2017. So as you guys know, the top three series and then like something like this where it's like building your own brand. I just want to help you guys out more and more and more. So you guys let me know, like comment down below what the heck else you want me to like, you know, try to post and help you guys on about and like make a really nice like cool little video for you guys. So, like, you know, of course, extend your brand and not just always extend your your creative process because it's more than just being good at designing it's also what else you do with that designing so that's what i'm trying to push for 2017 and push myself hope you guys enjoy these types of videos i'm just like like i said i'm just trying to experiment and stuff like that so please leave a like if you guys enjoyed uh, like i said already comment down below whatever like what else you want to see me do and don't forget to follow me on twitter at sphq make sure you guys stay freaking positive stay productive keep smiling and hopefully you guys enjoy your week enjoy your day enjoy your year and i'll talk to you guys later so switch you out peace